everyone, this is Rachel and I'm here, not with a scrapbook process video, but with a little bit of a scrapbook haul. I did just a small bit of shopping on National Scrapbook Day or International Scrapbook Day and I just wanted to share with you what it is I got. I do have one order that's still out, but it's very, very small. So I ordered just off from Freckled Fawn, I ordered three of these white alphas and then a set of puffy stickers that are black and white cameras and I will insert a picture of them right here. Okay, so those are the, <laughs> the two things I got from Freckled Fawn and so now I will go into what I ordered from Shimmers, Shimmers Paints. Okay, I got these three vibes in Blue Jeans, Sunset Strip, and Taupe of the Morning. And these are them right here. And I like the vibes because they're the ones that have the shimmer in them. And I like any way you can add glitter where you don't actually have to deal with actual glitter. So these are the colors I got. They're really more, obviously they don't necessarily go together, but I have a lot of golds and blues uh, but like the aqua as opposed to a, a true blue like these blue jeans and I have oranges and pinks but I didn't really necessarily have these colors so I wanted to go ahead and get a couple of colors that I didn't have and then I also got two of the new pasties products this one is called yellow it's me and it's a nice bright yellow and then I have this one called raspberry sherbet and it's a nice bright pink for me with texture paste, I tend to go and get the super bright colors in the ones that are already done and then just use my white texture paste for if I want something that's like a paler color. And since these were, didn't have any shine like the Dazzlers have, like, so these, although they look shiny now because they're wet, when they dry, they dry matte. Whereas these, I, the Dazzlers, I don't so much mind getting a lighter color that even though technically I probably could get this color with some of my mists, I tend to stick to more saturated colors when it comes to texture paste. That way I don't, I don't feel like I'm wasting my money. Like I bought the mist and then I bought the same color in the texture paste, you know, it's just a crazy thing for me. Okay, let me move these to the side and move on to the next. I bought from a, hold on, my dog had decided she needed to lay with me and now she's decided she doesn't need to lay with me. So we're gonna hear some jumping and clicking. There we go. Sadie, go to bed. Sadie, bed, bed. Good girl. <clears throat> okay, so I ordered from a shop, a smaller shop called Colorcast Designs and that's colorcastdesigns.com and she's also on Facebook. Uh, facebook.com backslash color cast designs and what she does is acrylics and wood veneer <clears throat> excuse me it's very allergy-ish here uh, in Connecticut so this is called the O snap and it's a mix of acrylic words and then acrylic shapes and wood veneer and they're all camera themed so it says capture it and O snap and no fill hashtag no filter and selfie and then there's little acrylic stars and hearts. I also got the multicolor mix of open hearts, open heart stars, open stars and closed stars. And this one's a multicolor one. I got this word and I believe this color is Caribbean and it's you are my sunshine and the, the U broke off, but that's okay with the acrylic. It's okay because you, you glue it down, you can't tell. I got a white ampersand and then I also got this one she calls bits and bobs and it's hearts and arrows and asterisks and stars and all of these come in multiple colors. I got the white, I believe she also has Caribbean and Kiwi and Storm and uh, like a pink color. I don't remember what, what the pink color is called and then she also has almost the similar ones she'll have in wood veneer as well as the acrylic. 
I happen to have a lot of wood veneer, so I didn't necessarily feel the need to get a whole bunch more. I was interested more in getting the acrylic because I actually really miss working with the acrylic because I used to get acrylic almost every month in my Scraptastic kits. But since they stopped making scrapbooking kits, I don't, it doesn't necessarily come with every line that people put out. So I was happy to find her and she had a sale going on for National Scrapbooking, International Scrapbooking Day. I always feel like I'm slighting people from other countries when I, when I call it National Scrapbooking Day. All right, and the last thing I bought, and I'm, oh my gosh, when you buy a grab bag or a mystery box or anything like that, you just, you, you're kind of taking your money and going, I hope this works. <laughs> and sometimes it doesn't. But I bought the grab bag from Hip Kit Club and I, I don't actually think I've ever purchased anything from Hip, Hip Kit Club before. I, of course, adore their stylizing of their kits, and they're beautiful. And I watch, you know, Tanya Hubbard and Irit and all the others who are on the Hip Kit that I can't name off the top of my head. I just happened to watch two of their videos this morning, so that's why I their names popped in my head. And I was watching Tanya, and she's super excited that she got her kit. In really fast and I just I like it's just one of those things where it's like oh you know I wish I could say I'm super chuffed without sounding like a pretentious idiot like she can because she's from South Africa so but I was super chuffed with what I got for my kit so it looks like what you got were either part of their colored kits part of their project life part of an embellishment kit and then paper and everything I got I really really loved so the first thing I got was a color kit, and I got the Ellie Studio Jordan Alphabet Stamp. Now, I'm not one to stamp on my scrapbooking layouts, but I also make cards. I'll show you. I have a ton of thank you cards. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my mother passed away about a month ago. I have a ton of thank you cards sent out. I've made a whole bunch of them. I have not been able to uh, gather <laughs> the oomph to actually write the thank you cards. Uh, it's kind of like the final step and I'm just, I'm not there yet. Uh, I will get there soon. But so I do make thank you cards sometimes with pattern paper. Um, let's see what I have here. And then I do a mix of pattern paper and stamping. So I can definitely use these on my card making, you know, to stamp larger sentiments and uh, I don't know maybe I'll try stamping a title maybe maybe not and then I got three of the distress ink markers in abandoned coral blueprint sketch and cracked pistachio I actually don't have any distress markers but I do use distress ink a lot a lot in my card making so I was very happy with that Next, I got a set of pocket page cards. Uh, once again, I don't really do pocket page things, but these are definitely usable as layers and also journaling. So I'm more than happy to get these. Uh, this is, I believe, the December 2016 First of all, because it says December, but it also has like 2016 highlights and it has, there's one card in here, like says, hello, 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 2017, what we're looking forward to. So definitely, and these are all one-sided, but like, even if I don't use that as a card, I mean, it would look super cute. Let's see. I don't think I have any photographs out. Do I? Oh, wait here. Here we go. All right, so let's say I was gonna do this. I mean, that looks super cute, just like that. Very cute. Palm trees, this is in Florida. Not Connecticut, obviously. <laughs> but, so I'm super happy with that, and I love this four by six with the black and white polka dots. These are all one-sided as well, but they're, they're perfect for me. So, more than happy with them. Okay. And next, I got a bunch of embellishments. I got, funnily enough, I actually got some acrylic pieces. These are a mix, here, I'll actually put them down here, of clear and frosted dots in an aqua color. It's actually almost the same color as my mat, so I don't know how well this is filming, 
but they're very, very pretty. I can see them being used on a layout and very, very much. I'm going to spill them everywhere. Yeah, yeah, we're awesome like that. So I'm, I'm super happy with all the acrylic I got. It's, it's an embellishment I like to use. What I have left from different grab bags I bought from Scraptastic is kind of the stuff I'm kind of iffy on. So that's why I really wanted to get some more that was more my style. So I was super happy about that. All right. I got these puffy stickers from Amy Tangerine. And I think these, these are not from her most recent, not on a whim, but the one before that, which I can't remember the name of, but I had to laugh because I actually had these out because I'm going to be using her lines to make a layout right after I film this. Obviously, I liked these. <laughs> I liked them so much I accidentally bought them twice, but I'm perfectly okay with these little puffy stickers. They're perfect for just adding onto your layouts, so absolutely no problem. I am going to take all of the stuff from the hip kit and break it up. I'm not going to leave it like a kit because it really is a grab bag. It's not, everything doesn't necessarily go together. So I'm just going to break it up and put it with the different lines I have of things. So I also got these ephemera pieces from Teresa Collins, Something Wonderful. And it's just very usable aqua and pink and viewfinders and layering pieces. And so this will be fine. I'll actually break this up and put it into since I don't have anything else by this line, what I'll do is I'll break it up by color and I'll put it in my little die cut. They're right here. I have this little die cut container that I keep all my die cuts in. And look, it's my name tag from a crop I went to in Texas. Let me put that back. Okay. And so I'm gonna break this up by color because they're just so basic, they'll be usable with just a layout I want to make that I just need like a viewfinder for or something that says something wonderful or anything like that. Then I got these clear stickers also from Amy Tangerine and I I think this might even be the better together line. I don't know. I really wish they would write that on the embellishments because it would make my life a lot easier. Not that it super matters. Let's see, this is 2015. This might be better together. I don't remember. I know I had some of this line either in a kit or, yeah, it had to have been a kit because I remember using something shaped like these, either stickers or something, but I don't necessarily remember buying this line. So I'm gonna to have to look into what I've done and see. I mean, not that it really matters. The majority of Amy Tangerine stuff goes together. So I'll just add this to, I have a container, not a container, I have a bag of Amy Tangerine stuff. Then I got these stickers from Dear Lizzie. They're called Petals. They're black and white. And then the there's black polka dots on the white portion. So it's kind of like all white polka dot and then black. And I actually own two sets of these and I was super happy to get a third set. Uh, it's one of my favorites. It does not video well because it has, it's got a shiny top. So it kind of looks not as bright as it is in real life. Uh, someone had commented that it looked like my, my alphas were disappearing. In like looking at it in, in person, doesn't read that way at all. I know it does read that way a little bit on the video. And then I also got these Fitzgerald thicker, Thickers in teal. Fitzgerald is one of my top three fonts, so I was super happy to get these. I have these in black, red, turquoise glitter, teal glitter, and I think one other color. I don't remember what the other color is, but yeah, I have quite a few Fitzgeralds. So super happy to get those. And then last but definitely not least is the paper I got. I got quite a few pieces of paper. I was like really excited. And it's all from stuff I already own. So as I said before, 
with the embellishments, I'm just going to break these up and put them in with their lines because I happen to have, they're mostly current. I did get a couple of Hip Kit exclusive papers, but for the most part, they're from paper lines. I already own, uh, I own still quite a few bit to play with. So uh, once, okay, so how I do it is once I keep a line together and then once I get down to say a piece or two, but there's still enough to make a, a layout, I then put it into a container. It's, I say container, it's really a plastic bag. Uh, <laughs> a bag of all that designer's designs. So if you hold on one second, I will show you. Okay, so as I was saying, what I do is I have these 12 by 12 ish bags and so this is Maggie Holmes chasing dreams and this is Maggie Holmes gather and sometimes I'll throw some photos in here if I have an idea I want to use them with that line I don't always do that you'll see chasing dreams doesn't have any photos so what I do is I work with these usually within the line sometimes occasionally I'll pull them in if I like I've pulled these label and word phrase stickers into other things but for the most part I work within a line so I just keep them together then once I get down to a point where either I've worked it enough that I still have enough for a layout or, a layout or two but I'll need to add more or honestly if I've worked with it enough and I'm kind of not really gonna work with it again until I want to make it into a kit I'll add it to, now they don't all look like this. This is one from Studio Calico. I bought one of their kits on clearance. So this is all my Maggie Holmes. So I've got in here some things from Bloom, some things from Open Book. And then I have in the back here, I don't know, I might've picked it up at like a, um, uh, Tuesday morning. I think I might've actually um, gotten it from another scrapbooker. I have a paper pack of style board and so even though it's style board which is from several years ago I only got it I've had this less than a year so this is from 2014 but I got this last year so I, I have but I don't have anything else from style board so I just stuck it in my Maggie Holmes bag And then from here is where if I want to work with some older things or if I want to add things to a kit, I can show you what I'm talking about, right? Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. Okay. So here's a kind of a, a kit I put together and this is more of a, a spring themed kit, but I had pulled out my Maggie Holmes Bloom stickers to add to it. And then you'll see some stuff from Basic Gray. And then I've got a crepe paper uh, chipboard and some enamel dots. And so that's, I usually will only do this if I'm working on it on the short term. So what are we at? This is May 13th. I'm going to film this and then stick it right up. Um, so if I'm working on this by June, I'll have broken this kit down if I haven't used it or if I've only used it once. Uh, if I'm not actively using it, I just break it down and put it back in by line that way. Because I'll tell you, <laughs> I put, actually this is one I had tucked, in the, tucked away and forgotten about. I was looking for my black and white die cuts and that's what this little container is right here. And I couldn't find them and I couldn't figure out where on earth they went. And I realized it was from an unpacked kit. So that's why I couldn't find them. So I'm going to try to work with that again and then, um, then I'll unpack. I'll, un I'll break it up and put it back where it belongs. All right, I'm gonna put these away and then I'll go through the paper and then you can go along your merry way. Okay, so now for the paper. From Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams, I got this paper that's called Destination and it's a kind of pink on pink lace pattern on one side. And then the B side is a stylized map of Boston. Yeah, Boston. So that, I will go right into my Chasing Dreams packet. 
And then also from Maggie Holmes, but this time it's called Gather. This one is called Hashtag Favorite. And it's a black and white buffalo check on one side. And then these sketchy roses in a soft shaded black with on a pink background. Excuse me. Sadie, come on, Sadie. What's going on? Cat is in her dog bed, so she's freaking out. Sorry. All right, and then I have a couple papers from Pink Paisley, Paige Evans, Take Me Away line. This one is number seven, and it's the squares. The B side is a tone-on-tone -tone mini polka dot in a, on a watercolor background. Then we have number nine, and this is the one with the multicolored windows. The B side is this chalk color blocking. And then we have number 22, which has these multicolors of all the colors in the line in hexagons. And they have a faint watercolor pattern, but it's within each hexagon. So it's not like, sometimes you get them where the shapes and then the overall is watercolor. So you get different veins of color in each of the hexagons. The B side is a ledger in a light pink and white. And then we're moving on to Dear Lizzie Lovely Day. This one is called Chirp Chirp and it has all the pretty birdies in the branches on a dark teal base. The B side is a stenciled rose in a tone on tone pink. It's actually the same stencil as is in the next paper. So you know, it would work very well together. I own quite a bit of Lovely Day. I actually just used this paper on a previous layout. Y'all haven't seen it yet. I made it on National Scrapbooking Day. It'll be up next Wednesday or next Saturday, I think. I'm not quite sure. This one actually is called Lovely Day and it is this floral piece. I did not actually use that. I used the B side as my background, which I know is like, ooh, that's a pretty dark background. You'll see why when you see the layout, or if you follow me on Instagram, I am Ollie Quig Scraps. On the uh, outro screen, it shows a link to, well, not a link, but it shows you my name on Instagram. You can hop over there. It's already up over there. And then we move to the Dear Lizzie Saturday collection. Now, here's a funny thing about this particular piece of paper. Uh, so I pulled out, when I was pulling out the other things to show you, I pulled out my... Saturday papers, which I still have together only because I have this one piece of full-size paper and I absolutely adore it because it has this on the B side. This one's called City Lights and it has ampersands on the B side and I thought this would make a perfect background page. So I never cut this up because even though I really like this as a layering piece, I'm like, no, I need it for the ampersands but I just hadn't found the right photo or the right story to tell using it. I absolutely knew I wanted to use it and I hardly ever will hold on to a piece of paper in order to find the like perfect photos, but this was one I did. I mean, literally I will cut into almost anything. This is just one I didn't. So not only did I get one piece of this, I got two pieces of this. So I am so excited. I'm like, this is awesome. Oh, I was so excited about this. I'm like, now I can have one for layers and one as a background and I can do so much with it and I am so, so happy. So, and see, here's where I have the petals and I already own two, so I'm perfectly happy to own a third. I have quite a bit of the embellishments and I have quite a bit of, like, other papers, just not full size. I mean, I still have, I mean, I could make two or three more layouts with the amount of paper I have left. So, super, super happy. This is probably the only paper I got that I don't have any of the other papers. This is from Dear Lizzie Happy Place. This one is called Darling Daisy and it's got flowers on one side. Sorry if you hear my dog cat dancing. She just will not settle down. And the B side is this pink toned mosaic paintbrush pattern. So I have another one of those Studio Calico bags and in it I have all what I call my one-offs. They're either things I got as part of a Studio Calico grab bag, so I don't necessarily like them all together, uh, but I like to pull them as filler paper for kits, or 
it's like where I fell in love with one piece of paper from a line, bought it for whatever reason, and then never used it. Most of those are like either wood grains or uh, like little geometric designs because I have no willpower <laughs> when it comes to pretty paper. All right, next we have Hazelwood Line from One Canoe Two for American Crafts. Now, funnily enough, I got this paper in a uh, scrap room kit and I was super happy because I, I had held myself back because I really didn't need it. So I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna get it. I really like it, but I'm not gonna get it. And I got it in my scrap room kit, so I was super duper happy. And then I bought a mystery kit from the Ink Road online store and in it happened to be every single paper from the Hazelwood line. So now I've got even more. So I'm all set with Hazelwood. <laughs> so this one is called Rose Water and it has this large abstract floral pattern on one side and then a mint and white gingham on the B side. And then we have this one called Sweet as Honey, also from Hazelwood with the hexagons and the bees on one side and then the black and white watercolor polka dots on the other and on the please you can use this for anything this so I mean as opposed to this I will most definitely be using this one and I say that and then I'll end up using the B side the B side the B E E not B okay two more papers and these are both hip kit exclusive by Kim Watson this from her just dream line and it's called symphonize and then the B side is a kind of wonky polka dot. And this one happens to, they have names for both sides. And this one's called Moonstruck. And then we have from Frolic. This side is a small floral called Fresh Linen. And then the B side are these very sketchy plus signs. So as I've said multiple times, I am super duper happy with what I got in my hip kit grab bag. I would purchase it anytime again, no problem. Perfectly happy to do that. So I hope y'all are having a great weekend. Uh, thank you for joining me. If you have any questions, just leave them in, as a comment below and I will answer them, I promise. Might not be right away, but I will answer them. And uh, if you could flick me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome. I will see y'all in a bit. Bye!